Man, I just wanna go home. No, my friend. Uh, uh, no more, no more. I go home. Ah, you go home. Yes, my friend. You don't want to go. No, no. Uh, nothing much. Nothing much. I go home. Man, all my money is gone, bro. <sighs> Avoid that guy. All I need is you, baby, baby. Guys, that's Maldives right there. They say it won travel award in 2021 to be the best place to travel to. People are just taking pictures here. That's the flag of Maldives. I wanna have also a picture here. You know, just for the flag. Oh, there's a friend here from Bangladesh. Yeah, yeah, I'm from Bangladesh. Hi, what, what, you? What's your name, bro? Ah, my name is Siraj. Siraj? Yeah. Yeah, you know, the sun is this way, so yeah, I have to turn. Maybe I'll take a picture later, but I can just take with my phone. Exploring Maldives. Lost in Maldives. Looking for a friend. I don't know if I can get a SIM card. I feel surviving without a SIM card gonna be difficult for me. So let me see if I get a SIM card here. Okay. Two packages. Oh, two packages. Yeah. We have got... $5.50. Oh, only that? Yeah. Nothing else? So guys, uh, I need to make my mind. I only have one day here. If it was you, would you buy for one day? Depending on you. Hey, okay. Okay, let me make a decision, guys. I need to make a decision about this. So I just met my friend. We had a very amazing meeting. It was short, like 15 minutes because they're catching up a flight. Now I want to look for Saeed. What was his name, Saeed? The taxi guy. So I go straight up here and I want to go to that city right there. That's the original. Mel. Mal. Male. It's Male. Like Sadio Male. That's the capital of Maldives. I want to go there and see the real life and uh, the other side of Maldives, you know. People are just coming from boats, boats. Let me see if my friend is here. You know, actually people in Maldives would easily pass for uh, people in, in Kenya, like Somali or Ethiopians. Very, very easy. Let me see if uh, this friend of mine is here. I promised to to take his taxi, so I have to take his taxi now, you know? Wow, so that guy right there helped me his phone to call my taxi guy. People here are so nice. Maybe it's because they have dealt with... Where is Zayan? Zayan says he's coming here, so I'm waiting for him. Zayan, Zayan, Zayan. They are building the airport, you see? Zayan, Zayan. I am so hungry. I think where he should drop me is first. Drop me in a local restaurant. I start my business from there. People are arriving here. This looks like a local boat for local tourists. You know? Now there's one guy looking at me. Where is Zayan now? Zayan, Zayan is a lady pilot here. She looks very fine. I don't want to say anything. I'm in a new country yet. So where is Zayan? Oh, it's this car. No. Okay, let me wait, guys. It's for Zayan. Okay. I wanna buy a ticket for local ferry. Hello madam. Ticket for Mali. Thank you, madam. So Zayan is not here, so I have to go with this. My friend, right here? Yeah. Thank you, man. Wow. What an exciting way to to start my local tour. Wow. This is uh, 
totally not what I expected. You see, there's always a local way of doing it. Wow. Hello, my friend. Hi. How are you? Hello, I am. What's your name? What's my name? Mari. Mari? Yeah. My name is Marwa. Marwa. From Kenya. Kenya? Yes. <laughs> I want to do a short trip for Mali. For Mali. This goes to Mali, right? Yeah. Okay, let's do it the local way. YouTuber. Yeah. I can show you my channel so you can enjoy this video. No, now no tower. Yeah, yeah. Sorry? Yeah. Tower no. You don't have internet? Yeah. Oh <laughs> man. Okay guys. Let me wait for the this is the local I'm trying to get the lighting. This is the local way to travel from the airport to that city right there. Somehow I found it. I was supposed to go with my taxi guy, but he's not showing up. So let's do it this way. But so it goes this way for 10 minutes. So every 10 minutes there is a new boat. Okay, so I'll, I'll still take another boat here, then take a car from here to my place. Wow, man. Local boats to Mali. This is the beautiful Maldives. Those are touristic. Touristic. Local looks like this. Okay, let's wait. I see the captain. That's the captain right there. Off we go. Local boat of my leaves. One dollar boat. Yes. You know, I want to promote the tourism here. So I'm not saying the cheapest way to survive in Maldives. Because you don't have to come here to survive. Just like that. This one is coming too fast. What's an exciting adventure for Maro, eh? Doing it local in Maldives. I think they built this to protect the waves.
So it looks like there are many local boats around here which take you to different places. I'm 100% sure this system must exist. See? Okay, my friend. People here are very nice and very kind. Like this guy tells me it's time for me to leave. Thank you, Captain. Captain, thank you, man. So, my friend, you're from here? Yeah. Wow, man. So, where do these boats go? It's a tourist uh, resort. Oh, tourist resort? Yeah. We're booking for this boat. Oh, you have to book? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. So, you have to book these ones? I don't know, but uh, ask the uh, other person. Okay. I just. I just want to walk and uh, find some restaurant and eat local restaurant. Local restaurant? Yeah. yeah. This way? This way? Yeah, this way. Okay. okay. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> Thank you so much. Wow, people here are really nice. And they look like Ethiopians, like visual, visually. If you, if you take a brother like that to Ethiopia or Somali, even Kenyans, you can't tell the difference at all i have most of my friends look like maldivians and actually the proximity between maldives and east africa tells that history maybe and remember everybody came from africa even if people don't like associating themselves from africa everybody came from africa at the end of the day so now i'm in a local local I'm still shocked what's going on, you know, I'm still very new here. So, I mean, mail. This is how you write mail, it has this. Wow. Okay. Local, local zone of Maldives. The city of Maldives. Actually, not the city, the capital of Maldives. Mail. Malay, it's actually said Malay. So I want to find a local uh, restaurant, walk around, get lost, you know, things like that. You know, just the idea is to get lost. Wow. So around this island, crossing here looks like a tricky situation. Okay. Okay. Crossing here looks like a tricky situation. Wow being welcomed by the beauty of my leaves. I don't know, I go this way now, probably. Huh, I'm getting lost, but let's get lost. The essence of this video is to get lost. So let's get lost. Wow. So guys, just to again remind you, this country is is a collection of islands over a thousand islands this is coffee residence i'm looking for a local restaurant can we go this way this looks like coffee place local restaurant my friend local restaurant, local restaurant. yeah like biryani i want to eat something yeah. where can i get some some biryani, you know? Biryani? Yeah, biryani, my friend. This guy works with Black Hawk Security. Wow. Man, I'm getting lost here. Let's go this way. They look very narrow streets here. You know, I was saying today I will sleep. I think he doesn't speak English that much. Yeah, I realize when people don't speak English, they shy. Hmm. Do they even sell a beer here, you know? Because it's purely Muslim. Huh. My friend, where can I get local restaurant? Some biryani. Yeah? Biryani, you know? Food. Yeah, restaurant. Oh, this is a restaurant? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So. Food. This 
Oh, this? Oh, this? Ah. Yeah, touristic. Local. Local, local. Local, my friend. Lo local, local. You know local place? I'm looking for local restaurants. This is very touristic. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Let me let me get lost. Yeah, they they took me to this, which looks very touristic. I'm trying to to do the local way. And uh, tomorrow I'll do touristic stuff where I am booking a tour to one of some of the most exotic small islands and resorts around. But for now, all I'm doing is local. Can we do some local stuff? They're actually building here, man. They don't play around. They're building the island. It says hotel, real inn. So this is the capital of uh, Maldives. I have to repeat that because what's this street saying here? Kinda streets. I don't know. Let's keep walking. We're gonna find some place to eat. You know? At least now we have a mission. We are looking for food. And that's my biggest mission here. So my sister was actually here. And let me tell you something about the immigration here. Uh, mostly when you travel as black is not a big deal but if you travel as black with an African passport everything changes hey they park their motorcycles eh? I've, I've noticed that look they park in a line they park in a line you know everything is in a line so if you travel as black with an African passport most people don't believe you are traveling most people are like especially the immigration officers what did you come to do here they don't they don't believe you can actually like travel and enjoy and i'm saying this because i know some of the people who watch me this like coffee place I, it looked nice but it's a coffee place some of the people who watch me are immigration officers because sometimes i give them my my youtube channel to show them what i do so It's, it's sometimes bad, especially when you pinpoint like that black guy in the line. Yes, you come here or you wait, wait aside. When everybody, everybody's like, okay, you go, you go. Okay, you go, you go. But for this guy, you wait. Sometimes it's, um, it's, it's a little sad. It's not a little, it's actually very sad because uh, you kinda, as a traveler, you get very anxious in the queue because you don't know what will happen you don't know if they're gonna but you see the beauties at the end of the day they always let you go in especially for my case they always let me go in but you're always like anxious you don't know what's what's happening what will happen i want to go this way hello maldives on a busy day green streets Let's see what this Maldives has to offer. I need, I need to cross here. Hey, 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 hey. The way, the way these motorcycles are coming, you have to raise your hand. So it makes you a little anxious. Guys, you hear? This is the mosque right behind us. So I'm seeing what's not allowed. No playing, no eating burgers. No smoking. Clothes like this. X. Skating, not allowed. Carrying raw fish. Sleeping. Only what's allowed is like that. Okay. That's amazing, man. 100% this country is, is, a, is a Muslim country. 100%. There's no Christian church anywhere. Ah. Oh. Maldives. They're still constructing their park right there. I saw a lot of uh, birds. Wow. Really beautiful, you know. Feels like uh, some place you want to be. Hello.
How are you, my friend? How is holiday? Good, my friend. Where are you, where are you walking? Where just, you? just in the city. No, it's holiday. Yeah. Where are you doing holiday? Uh, I am very new here. Very new. Yes, very, very new. Okay. Uh, yes, my friend. This is my shop. You have a look at my shop. Uh, not nice. now. I'm looking nice for food. Collection. Yes, but right now I'm looking for food, my friend. Food. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come yeah. yeah. Local food. Local food. Okay. My okay. Then on the way back you can have a look at my shop. Okay, my friend. Huh? Okay. This guy wants to show me some. All right, my friend. I'm with you. My name is Adam. Adam. Yeah. Nice to meet you. First man. Adam. First man. Yeah, you know Adam and Eve. Yeah, Adam and Eve. My wife is Eve. Oh, your wife is yeah. Eve? Yeah. Oh, wow. Seriously. Oh, wow. My wife's name is Hava. Hava. Yeah, Hava is Eve. Yeah, it's like Eva. Eva, yeah. Eva. Eva. Yeah. My Actually, Eva means Eve. Eva. Yes. My wife's name is Hava. Hava is Eva. Okay. So, what do you sell in your shop? Our local products. I oh. give my business card. Okay. This is my business card. You can read out. Guys, you can you can come support him. Atoli Crafts. Atoli Crafts. Best souvenir shop in my Okay. They are building here. I think we have to, we have to pass. Just met a random local. They are, const they are constructing there. Looking for a food to eat. I sell, hand, I sell handicrafts. Oh, yeah, I saw that. I saw this. Yes. Handicrafts. Yeah. My name is Maro from Kenya. Maro from Kenya. Okay. Kenya. Yeah, Kenya. Yes. I know Kenya. Kenya. Nice country. Yeah. Wow. Guys, I'm looking for food. I met a local here. He wanna show me where to get local food. So I'm just following him. Uh, where, where do you stay on holiday? Uh, now I am staying in the other island where which there is... Yeah, which island? Hulumale. Hulumale. Oh, nice place. Yeah, Hulumale. And uh, where are you going? Which island are you going? Uh, tomorrow I do island hopping, you know? Ah, yes, island hopping. Just... Yeah, yeah. 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 then I come okay. back. And come back, yeah. Yes. And then... Uh, I go to India. India? Oh, yes. nice place, India. Yeah, I go and to India. And then I'm going to Kenya. Yes, from there I go to Kenya. Okay. And um, what is how many days total? Uh, three, four days. It's like four three days. and a half. Three and a half days. Okay. Yes. And then India, how many days? Ten days. Ten days. And or then 14. Going back to Kenya. Yeah, I have to go back. Okay. Because it's December. Those are two weeks on holiday, right? Huh? Yeah. Oh, that's good. But I've been traveling for five years. Oh yeah. Yeah 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 yeah. Ah, that's cool. Yeah that's yeah. Cool. What other countries to be? Like uh, seventy countries. Seventy countries. Yes. Five years. Yeah. Great. What is your profession? YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, I do oh, YouTube that's videos. Great. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> How many Adam. followers you have? Like three hundred thousand. Three hundred thousand. Close oh. to four hundred now. Oh, oh, that's great. We are going to four hundred. Maybe okay. next uh, month we get four hundred. Uh, from YouTube, how much you, uh, they are paying for you? That's now a secret. Secret, huh? Yeah, yeah. Many, huh? That's good. <laughs> yeah, but nice. good enough to survive and live. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. That's you nice. know. And uh, per day, uh, per month, uh, how many videos you are uploading? Every single day. Every single day. Yes. Oh, that's great. Because my videos are uh, like this, uh -huh, okay. simple. Simple. Huh? Wow. Good, yeah? yeah. This is local restaurant. I couldn't tell. Then I will take you a local uh, medium class restaurant. Huh? Oh, local medium class. Yeah, medium class. <laughs> because your YouTube is standard. <laughs> yeah. Standard one guy has to go to India. Uh, and what is this? What is this water? This is uh, to uh, air fried cats. Oh, this one cats. is. If the water is there, the color water is there, cats will not come there. Oh. Cats will move. Oh, so wait, it's it's like, uh, I believe? Yeah, security. Okay. Say, uh, cats will not go there. Okay, it's a belief. We'll okay, we'll escape. And they find this color of water, they will escape. Oh. There is 
Something that gets you come and bite. Wow. Maldives. So you from Maldives? I'm from Maldives. Born and raised. Born and raised. Wow, bro. Yeah, I think I, I am showing them, guys. This is his handcrafts. So if you come to Maldives and you want him to you want to buy some handcrafts, they can show you around. I'm telling you, man. Local day in Ma Malay. How do you pronounce it? After, after food, uh, after food, I will try to earn by motorbike. Hey, no, 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 just food, my friend. Yeah, just food. This is just food. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Motorbike, no. Thank you. Wish. Thank you, my friend. Okay, 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 okay. Hello, my friend. Hello. Thank you, my friend. Yeah, this this is middle class. Yeah, middle class. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I said to share, share with you. Yeah. Share, talk. Okay. So, Plus, you come to a very nice restaurant here. It looks like this. Thank you. You can have something, man. Yeah, I will have a coffee. Also. Okay, okay. So, let me see what to eat. I think because I'm in an island, I will eat. I'll eat some fish. But I don't like octopus. Okay, let me see what to eat. So guys, I'm, I'm having some soup here. Um, I think for my friend is having have some soup. It's actually really, really good. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah. No, in this place is will not have complaints. Oh, it's a good. It feels a nice place. It's like all. Uh, what is this? Oh, they come for, here. Yeah, for fresh food. Yeah. They come here. Okay. Medium class fresh food. The name is um, Gomet. Gomet is right here. Yeah, Gomet, yeah. So, guys, the food is here. It's a uh, salmon. And I asked for some, sorry, I asked for some soup. And this salmon comes with actually like mashed potato. So, this is mashed potato right there. And then I asked for an extra rice, so I can get some. Then I have some juice right here. I think after this I'll be very, very, very okay. Okay, my friend, you ordered coffee? Yeah, only coffee. Okay. Well, this is white coffee, right? Nescafe milk. Nice cafe. Okay. Nescafe milk. All right. So guys, uh, let me. Let's eat. Please follow me on Instagram. And uh, I think I'll. I'll be ending this video soon, then we're gonna start part two of the video. Man, I just wanna go home. No, my friend, uh, uh, no more, no more, I go home. Ah, you go home? Yes, my friend. You don't want to go No, no, uh, nothing much, nothing much. I go home. No, no, no. No, no, my friend, I go home. You want taxi? No, my friend, please. No. I'm not very bad guy. No. Too much. Right. So, oh. Man, I just spent a hundred dollars. Oh, and the prices came actually up. I had to ask for the menu to confirm what I booked. And once I did that, the prices went down. It's crazy, look. Wow. 
you know, I'm sorry to say this. I've traveled uh, in many countries. And um, sometimes I go with the flow, okay? So I've, I was asking myself, what is the catch? What is the catch in this? What do I have to give back? Because honestly, a nice local person who wants to show you a place, he points, he says, go like this, go like that. These are narrow streets. You're gonna get, uh, you're gonna get like a, a restaurant or something. But I was asking myself this question, what is the catch here? All along, you know, my antennas were very high and trust me, I was not wrong. So this is what happened. So randomly a guy approaches me in the streets of Maldives, the one I'm walking right now. He says, uh, hey, I have a shop. I want to show you something. I say, no, I, say, I told him I'm looking for food right now, okay? I told him I'm looking for food. So he said, oh, oh I know one nice restaurant at the corner. So we walk. We keep dodging one, two, three, four, five streets. We are in this restaurant where he took me. Then, um, so I order food, okay? Initially, I saw the prices were not so bad because the prices were... I ordered some juice. I think you guys saw in the, in the video previously. So everything looked, looked fine because I saw I could afford. I thought it's gonna, it's gonna be like maybe $45 around there, you know? Because I ordered salmon and... But when the prices came, time to pay, I realized the prices had changed. And in the middle of, of me eating, I asked this guy, so you left your shop because he told me he has a shop. So you left your shop. Who is taking care of your shop right now? And he tells me, don't worry, my brother is taking care of it. I was feeling like mm, something is not adding up here. And uh, let me let me cross this. So I was just saying something is not adding up here, okay? So I think that question made him a little uncomfortable. And he said, uh, let me go out, I am coming back. Uh, I said, no, 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 because I have your card. At that time already, I bought him coffee. Please, I want you to remember that. You have to be very careful here with the motorbikes. At that point already, I bought him coffee on, on myself. Actually, I insisted to carry this with me so I can actually go and see what they did to me. Um, so the bill comes. It's like close to a hundred dollars. Man, I've just eaten, even in New York, you don't eat like that. And that's a regular restaurant in the middle of, in, the, in a local zone, you know, very local zone. You cannot say I was in a five-star hotel. This is a local zone where locals eat. And it's, it's, it's normal. And I ordered rice. Rice was like $60. It's, it's, it's crazy, but uh, I am not complaining about the prices, but they nearly duped me, I swear. Because at first, the bill came so high, I requested for the menu with, with the bills written. Okay, bro, no problem. So I requested for the menu where the bill is written. So I started doing my maths. I took my calculator out. And this guy said, sorry, sorry, let me go and come back. The guy who was serving me at the restaurant. So he comes back with a lesser bill, which is 90. It's right here, guys. You might think I am, I am creating this. 90. 92 okay 92 92 US dollars that was crazy man even my restaurant uh, not my restaurant where I'm staying I'm paying 75 and breakfast included and just eating a salmon and it's not like I ate exotic food it's, it's salmon so I have realized something maybe the prices went up because that guy took me there and he wants his cut. You know? You guys will be laughing at me saying, Maru, how do people scam you after traveling 70 countries? I was just chilling with this guy. Then after that, I told him, why did you bring me to, I asked him this question. 
Why did you bring me to this expensive restaurant? He say this is medium class. Honestly, in these streets, that's medium class, okay? So what I did, then he kept saying, you want, you want to go to my street? I said, bro, leave me alone. Like, just disappear, man. Leave me alone. He said, oh, you want taxi? I said, leave me alone, please. I crossed the street, I went to the other side. Then I disappeared. 100 percent that guy gets a cut from my money that food was around 45 dollars and i'm not complaining or i ate much actually i lost appetite until i carried some i carried some with me so that has been my experience in the real streets of maldives technically avoid that guy Trust me, avoid that guy for your own good. And if you don't have problems or be overcharged, avoid that guy. I didn't eat too much, like maybe. Man, that was like New York City, bro. And that's a local restaurant in a local zone. You know, if it's in the middle, okay. But local zone like this, 90 US. Big time, avoid that guy. Anyway guys, uh, let's walk this way. I get the main road and I think uh, I'll be heading home because honestly, maybe I, I don't know what happened to me, but uh, <laughs> tricky situation, man, uh, 100%. And you know, in the middle of our, of our eating, he was having coffee. So I ordered this. Let me, I'll sit down and analyze and show you the prices. You tell me in your home, this is the prices you can pay for. For salmon, I may understand, but for the rest, like coconut. Coconut, you guys saw I'm having. 285. Salmon steak, six. Six. 650 so remember 15 equals to one dollar so 285 like this guys let me see 285 divided by 15 that's crazy bro like 18 you man that was a scam i swear before god and i feel like uh i'm not talking bad but i feel like that restaurant has two types of menus one that you walk alone and second is the menu that you walk with somebody like that guy they pull two different menus wow let me see like that coconut soup it's 280 285 wow 285 let me see how much that is 285 divided by 15 19 19 dollars for coconut soup oh my god they got me that one they got me i'm telling you that one they got me there my friend so how much is the salmon let me see 650 man all my money is gone bro <sighs> avoid that guy by all means 650 so how much is that for a salmon steak, which is actually less than a, it's like a quarter, a quarter kilo. So 650. So let me see, 650 divided by 15. Wow. Salmon only was 43 US dollars. Avoid that man, avoid that restaurant. I am very sure you can't buy that on 43 somewhere. That's too expensive, man. Honestly, like, let me see, mango juice. They charged me. That's why I asked for this. Mango juice, they charged me 130. So 130 Maldivian rupee, divide by 15 to get the US dollar. Wow, mango, glass of mango juice, which I had two today for free in my hotel. 130. 
divide by 15 eight dollars actually it's 8.6 technically ten dollars for one bro and i'm in a local zone i am not in a resort so you guys may say oh Mara, that's maldives you should have known better i'm in a local area you cannot tell me and today i was asking i was asking a uh, taxi man how much it is uh, minimum salary not minimum like average salary is 350 to 450 so you cannot tell me in a country where the average salary is like 450 at the best somebody will pay 44 dollars for salmon that guy had something to deal with that money please avoid people showing you the streets and i'm learning Whoa. that's crazy man okay so let's go home thank god i i, I have that video i have it on video wow that was crazy i'll keep this bill even new york it doesn't come like that bro yeah even in new york it's not like that that was a steal a hundred percent that was a steal so this is the local maldivian the journey started very well with me taking a local boat for one dollar till i met this guy who messed up my budget now i don't even have local currency even i gave them the dollars ahead I need to find an ATM and get some money. Otherwise, you know, I'm very cautious now. Very, very cautious. My antennas are very high. Wow, man. This is the local side of Maldives. It's narrow, small streets. It's an island, so you expect this. With a growing population. Please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Wow. Wow, man. What oh, just happened to me something else. Okay, let me try to forget that so we can make the video. But I remember they had brought 700. I said, give me the bill. Give me the booklet. I want to see what's written. Once I said that, the bill went down by like 200. Ah. But uh, it's the same thing I've told you. I think when a guy walks you into that restaurant, there is this bill they pull. When you go alone, they give you another one. Because I'm very sure that food does not cost that much, man. 100%. Wow. Okay guys, this is me. I wanna try get some um, local uh, bus now. I wanna see if I'm gonna go home. First I need an ATM. Maybe I'll, I'll do that at... I need an ATM somewhere here. Maldives, man, a lot of motorbikes. Like crazy. This guy is parking on the road. My friend. Oh, that's actually parking on the road. He didn't care. Yeah. Let me see if I can catch a local boat to take me back home. Otherwise, these streets are not my streets, man. Wow. But the food was good. That one I have to agree. The food was amazing. But the prices came in a limbo. Let's see what's going on. Most people move here with uh, motorbikes. More than cars. Very rare cars. Very Maldives. The local style. I need to catch a ferry I think I'm lost but I'll have to cross this 
way. I think if I keep going this way, I hope I'm not getting lost. I just hope I'm not getting lost. But uh, I think if I keep going straight on, that's where the ferry should be. Yeah, just straight, straight on. This is the other side of Maldives, guys. Uh, and this is the normal life. And uh, this video is purely to show you how locals live. Tomorrow I'll be showing you how tourists live, so like first class. But now that I've been duped, I have to be very careful now tomorrow. Wow, I see... Oh, it's the flag of South Africa and Thailand. So probably they're just trying to make the hotel look more international, you know? This is Maro in the streets of Maldives. Avoid that guy at all costs, bro. And uh, that's one thing I came to realize when traveling. Anytime, anytime you allow somebody to take over your thoughts, your thinking, you've lost it. Okay? Anytime you allow somebody to take over. Oh, these are embassies. Wow, they are right here. These are embassies, South African embassies here. And also the Thai embassies here. So if I want to go to Thailand, I can come and ask for a visa right there. Wow. South Africa. Wow, they have an embassy here. That's amazing. I had no idea about that. Mail my leaves. Malay. Malay Maldives. Maldives is number one most beautiful place you can visit. They have the best islands ever in the world. Not just best but classic. Tomorrow I'll be showing you that side of Maldives. But today I show you these chaotic streets of Maldives. Wow, let's go. Let's go. I think I'm I'm closer. I'm closer home. Taxi should be six dollars at most, which is eighty uh, Maldivian. It's it's roof roof eh? rufia rufia yes rufia Maldivian rufia. It's not rupee here anymore. It's rufia. Wow. Hey, 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 hey. Streets of Maldives. I think I let myself get duped. I should have been more careful. Yeah. And I'm telling you, the prices were okay. But before I paid, they changed the menu. Not the menu, they changed the bill. And again, when I took out my calculator, they, they realized there's something going on. This guy will discover we are duping him. And I would have recorded it actually. Because at first they had seven, say 700, wow, 44 for salmon, bro. That's a lot of money. Salmon, which I've been eating it from Finland. I have too many videos of salmon. Uh, I think I'll take a $1 ferry cross. Then from there, see, streets of Maldives, real streets. These are the real streets. Driving here, actually riding a bicycle here is something else. You just have to be very careful. Let me see if I catch a local ferry that will ferry me to the other side of the other island. So from there I can actually go home. Enough of Maldives. I always ask myself, what is the catch here? Always ask yourself that question. When you see things are kind of looking so exciting, always ask yourself, 
I think the ferry is right there. That's why I should go. Always ask yourself who benefits here. Okay. So I want to go to that building, white building right there. I'll pay one dollar and the ferry will ferry me. But before then, can we see the other side, you know? Yeah, before I take the ferry, can we see what's going on on the other side? Actually, I lost appetite, so... Oh, let me cross from that side. I feel like... Uh, it's very humid here because we are next to the ocean. So, please careful about that okay let's see what's what's happening here let me see this looks like a nice place to, to even breathe after successful scam I don't know bro, but uh, that was not what I expected. Yeah, let's see this place here. It looks, looks nice. Please remember, uh, this country is 100% Muslim. So that's very unique. I've never been in a country where it's 100% Muslim, but I've always been in countries where there's mixed, like my own home country is a mix, like 40% Muslim, 40% Christians. Oh, people are actually swimming here. Oh. It's like a swimming pool or what is this? I think this is like a man-made beach. You know, like place where you can people are actually swimming here. Wow. Yeah, and it's very clean. Hello my friend. Wow, I see that. And also there's like a it's a controlled space. I think this is good because yeah it's a good place people are actually swimming like seriously swimming that is the bridge that connects this island to the other island the other island is where the airports airlines land and actually if you, you leave this island here which mostly the locals leave you start going now to most exotic islands you know so this is uh where the locals enjoy their day in Maldives. I hope I don't meet that same local here again. It's been, uh, let me chill here. You know, I don't have internet. So let me chill here and see what's going on. All I need is you, baby, baby. Griffith Observatory in Los Angeles. So I'm officially saying goodbye to Japan. As you see, sir, welcome to Japan. Where is Elisa? Soy de España. I'm heading to. I have like five percent left can you say hello just Hi. for my blog yes He's my man we got him in the Italy, metro right here himself yeah so i'm going wow lots of people man let's wait and get in <laughs> 